This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. So guys, this week I'm at Gamescom in Germany and I'm playing a bunch of brand new Battlefield 5 content and obviously that means there's a lot to talk about. But what I want to take a look at today is a brand new gun in this build we weren't actually told about, the Breda PG. So guys, this is Billy Eat World again and let's find out. Alright, so to kick off, if you've never heard of the Breda before, well, I'm not actually surprised because it was an Italian prototype weapon from the early 1930s. And the interesting thing about this one is that it was the very first burst fire automatic weapon in the world, which also makes it the first burst fire weapon that we have in Battlefield 5. It was trialled by the Italians and also the Costa Rican government, and it was chambered for either the 6.5 Carcano rounds or the 7mm Mauser round. So although it is classified as an assault rifle in-game, it's actually probably closer to an SLR or what we'd call a battle rifle in real life. Now in-game, that's probably even more obvious because as interesting as burst fire is, it's actually pretty atrocious if you try and use it like that. The gun does have a fairly respectable rate of fire compared to the other SLRs, for example, but there's this weird delay between bursts which makes it completely useless if you want to use it in close quarters. We don't actually have the raw stats yet, but from what I can tell, it seems to have a fairly similar damage model to the Gewehr 1.5, so essentially a 3-shot kill at close range or a 4-5-shot to five shot kill out to longer ranges. So that means you can potentially kill someone in one burst, but most of the time it is going to just be more consistent if you switch it over and try and use it in semi-auto instead. So bearing that in mind, when you compare it to the other fast firing SLRs, this gun actually starts to look like it's not so terrible after all. Like I said, it's got a similar damage model to the G15, but it's got a much faster RPM, so you can spam it a little bit quicker like you would, say, with the M1 carbine. The vertical recoil does seem to be a little bit harder, but that shouldn't be an issue in CQB, and you'll notice that a couple of times in this gameplay, I was even hip firing people down. And at longer ranges, well, you can just pace out your shots a bit more and it's still super accurate and reasonably effective if you do manage to land some headshots. Now, when you combine this with its very decent 20 round mag and options in the spec tree to increase its rate of fire even more, you'll start to see this gun is seriously good. Potentially even I'd say maybe even the new best SLR in the game because with its current stats I just don't see why you'd want to use the M1 carbine or the G15. They're both probably not as good and probably not as consistent. It's not a guaranteed three shot kill at all ranges, so it's probably not going to replace the G43, but it might actually rival the Turner and the Mass as well because of, well, double the mag size. Because Battlefield 5 really is a game where you need the ability to take out multiple targets with one magazine, and, well, you're not going to struggle doing that with this particular gun. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to say about this one so far. Obviously, all of the stats are still a work in progress, so I guess we'll have to wait and see if it gets a nerf before it actually launches. Or maybe it doesn't need a nerf. Maybe I'm just missing something. Let me know what you guys think on this one down below. As always, though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also, don't forget, you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch. And as always, until next time, see you later and have a good one.